Typically, you find cicadas around trees, either at the base, on the trunk, or into the canopy where they start looking for mates. Once you find a cicada, place it in the freezer for 24 hours, then take the cicada, put it in a paper towel, and place everything in a sealable container. Then mail everything to me at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga, and we'll take care of the rest. One of the questions that we're asking in urban environments is how organisms cope with disease causing um, microbes and pathogens in their environment as the environment changes. Um, and so one of the questions that we're looking at is to see what the diversity and abundance of pathogens and microbes, what they look like in these organisms as they move from an urban to a rural area. So we're working with cicadas because cicadas are this very charismatic species. They are long lived. They spend most of their life underground in the soil that is probably one of the more microbially diverse um, aspects of the environment. And so we're wondering how the cicada is able to um, defend itself against possible pathogens and if there are microbes that actually help the cicada do this. And so we're looking at the wings in particular because past studies have shown that um, the wings have some very interesting antimicrobial properties and we're interested in comparing across different species of cicada how well they can resist microbes.